Welcome to Race Face TV and this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. Let's head out east to South Boston Speedway where we find Sam Mayer competing in twin 75 lap races in the NASCAR Wheelin All-American Late Model Series for Junior Motorsports in his number 28 Gray Ghost throwback paint scheme. In race number one, Sam qualified 12th but fell back at the start because of a loose race car. The Junior Motorsports team made a green flag pit stop that resulted in Sam going a lap down in 20th position. Sam raced his way through the field to the free pass position and got his lap back when the next caution came out. With not many laps left, he raced his way to a ninth place finish. Sam started eighth in the second 75 lap event and worked his way up to sixth before another caution shuffled him back after a car in front of him missed a shift on a restart, losing a few positions, but still managed another top 10 in eighth position. We go out west where we find race face driver Adam Lemke. He was at Madera Speedway on Saturday night in round seven of the USAC Western Midget Series. Adam qualified second, took second in the heat, but now it was time for the A main and at the drop of the green flag, he took the lead and led every lap on his way to a perfect season on the pavement with seven wins in a row. Adam continues to lead the pavement, the dirt, and the overall championships. Now driver Jesse Love was back at Placerville Speedway for a spec wingless sprint car race at the quarter mile red clay dirt track that was literally cut out of a hillside giving it higher banking and making it one of the most unique tracks in the country. Jesse won his heat race and then backed that up with a podium finish in the A main coming home third. Let's now go to our race face next drivers. But before we do, we want to welcome Joey East to the race face next program. And we will talk a little bit more about him later in the show. Let's first start off with next driver, Joe Valento, who was at Sweet Springs Raceway in Sweet Springs, Missouri. Joe took his number 03 micro sprint to a third place finish in the heat and a seventh place finish in the A main. Joe will be back at Sweet Springs Raceway this weekend. Joe commented that this is now one of his favorite tracks. Driver Bryce Bizanson was at Dimming Speedway on Friday in his micro sprint where he qualified sixth, finished fourth in his heat, but had a tire go flat in the A main ending his night. On Saturday, Bryce went to Evergreen Speedway for the NASCAR k n Pro Series West Race as a guest of Jefferson Pitts Racing, where the JPR team brought home two top 10 finishes in fifth and sixth. As we said earlier, Joey East is our newest addition to the Race Face Next program. Joey was also at Madeira Speedway for the USAC Western Midget Series race on Saturday. And the young 15 year old set fast time in qualifying, won his heat race and finished second in the A main battling fellow race face driver, Adam Lemke for the win. Great job, Joey. Make sure to visit Joey's Facebook page at Facebook slash Joey dash East dash racing and make sure to like his page. Well, that's it for this week's driver updates. Make sure to catch up on any shows that you might have missed at raceface.tv on demand. Remember that we offer Dale Jr. download from Dirty Mo Media and the Stock Car Show from Race Chaser Media. Please make sure to like our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash raceface TV. I want to thank all of our fans for helping us reach 10,000 likes. You guys are awesome. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities, and we'll see you back here next week with more driver updates from your favorite race face drivers.